guys, welcome back to Beautiful Mind today. I'm Roland Attenborough. I'm the leading GAN scientific and analytical researcher. Today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin and the terrific weakness, right? Breaking down again. And right now we're searching out this bottom. We are talking about these levels. Well, if we, if we broke through this, we were talking about this, if we broke through this and showed any weakness, which we did, right? We came back up. We couldn't challenge that, and then that's a sign of weakness. And I said that the moves moving down here, they would accelerate and uh, be very fast. And that's exactly and precisely what my forecasting work has produ produced. Okay, we are now back to this octave on the square at 57 and holding there. However, the next move down in the search on the square, that's right, it's back to 53. And this trend line here, it's no surprise that this is coming in. And right away, we are going to be in for one hell of a rally here. There's going to be a counter rally coming up here. But first, they're fishing around. They're looking for your stops. And... Uh, if you were late to the party, then uh, the party's over. So back to this area. It's 53 right now. You know, we didn't even respect this topping area. We came down, sat on it, challenged the underbelly here, and got very weak and the market turned over. We have to face the facts, guys, right? We've been talking about all this volatility and into this middle of this month, there's gonna be some kind of swing top here and around this 26, we're gonna have some one hell of a whipsaw again and a return back. And this may, if we get underneath 52 and 53 here, if we get underneath this and do a headbutt, then uh, it's down to 49, you know? And that's our old top in January, I think around the 11th there. And if that does not hold, then we will be revisiting 46 and sitting back on the square of our base from our top at 73,000 and we'll be sitting on 43. And I've been discussing with you that it was possible and of course, I had said that in July that, you know, my ephemera showed you that, uh, you know, we had a cycle that uh, happened. And it produced the results of 53 and vibrated back to 44. And I believe I showed you that. I'm going to just go ahead and let's look for that. Okay, going back to July here, we we're talking it could vibrate in this period like it did before, 44, we had 52 and a 46, we had 58 and another 54 and a 60, so we were vibrating in those areas. We're now in August, we got two friends that are going to be getting together here. Mars and Jupiter. We're going to have a lower top. It's going to be a swing top. I was expecting a much higher blow off top, but that probably will not happen now until September when we sit down and then we push up against our top and break over. And in the end of August, from this time, we have a swing top coming in here with the moon. And then we're going to have a tumultuous turn down, right? We're going to have another whipsaw again move, right? So we've got these, we've got these moves now where these two are coming together. So right away, we're going to have uh, one hell of a snap rally. And that will start to occur somewhere around, oh, probably starting around the 10th and 11th, we're going to start to see a major turnaround and uh, a swing up and that will occur around the 22nd 
2 and up into the 26. However, it could still carry on a few extra days and then a big Humpty Dumpty again. Okay, we've been looking at that. They're looking for your stops, guys. You know, that's why I'm a forecaster and cycle trader. I just, you get stuck in these little, uh, these areas, they're looking for your stops. And guys, it's, uh, <laughs> they're going to find them. You know, that's what they've been doing. And uh, I'm just going to go to a bigger size chart here so we can look at this a little better. Maybe we'll go into this one. This really has proved to us right here, this one day move here, where we had a 20% pullback. This is just the beginning of the volatility that we're going to start seeing. Right? And at uh, any time now, we will be returning to these areas of the chart. And if we don't smarten up and have some kind of a bounce here and a move up and get below this, then this August will be a swing top underneath here like that with another whipsaw and then another rejection, in which case September will bring us right back down and we will be on our old bottom. Do I think that will occur? It's possible. However, typically when we don't break a low in uh, January, I don't know why this thing is not agreeing with me right now, but let's just make this bigger so that we can take a better look at it. We are talking about this area here. where we come back down and we are going to be retesting this whole section here. If we don't gain some strength here and we get below this and do a headbutt, it's right down to here. And if we don't get some traction there, say by right, October, we could be right back to this stuff, no problem. And we we could essentially fall down to here. This, I mean, it could happen. Doesn't necessarily mean it will happen. As long as we are bouncing off of these trend lines, we're going modestly lower. So we have these swings here. We have to stay above this. And it looks like we're about to uh, make contact again with this blue trend line here. And that'll probably be somewhere around this 53,000. And that is another octave on our square of nine. And it's completely in line with our old tops. It's on the opposite side of the square where our old tops are represented here. So. They're looking for your stops right now, guys, so that's just what's happening. And until this accumulation and distribution is uh, done, and I feel that that's going to end in August and September, and uh, things are going to get really crazy. I mean, we've been calling for these swings and all these tops. And now, of course, we're getting all this tomfoolery and fake out, and it's just getting super weak. So let's watch out for that. Anyways, I thought I'd do a really quick update and we would discuss these things. I'll be doing some more updates. Today I'll be working on another tutorial I had from Dex. He wanted to know how to use the square of nine and use it with uh, an asset. And we were going to take the square of nine and put it on Bitcoin. And we'll be doing a tutorial where we can run out the uh, sequences using the square nine this tool here it might be a little long and drawn out but uh, if you have the time pay attention to that one it'll be coming up soon peace and love to you guys